Plastic waste has become one of the biggest problem for environment and our mother earth. In fact, it is estimated that by 2050 our oceans would have more plastic than fishes. Also, you will be surprised to know that India produces 3.4 million tons of plastic waste in a year. While only 30% of it gets recycled and rest of it goes to landfills and aquatic dumps. Hence, there is a huge need to recycle as much as plastic as we can. Hello again, this is Bhumika Singh for SME Futures and we have arrived at the manufacturing unit of China Eco Unified, where the plastic waste is being taken care of and recycled into interlocking floor tiles. We have inner plastic on earth that we can wrap earth five times. It's one of the biggest invention of 21st century, but now it has become one of the most difficult problem to solve it because we are using plastic everywhere. idea was to create a product which is uh, which can be useful for society and infrastructure development because recycling is not a new business recycling is very traditional and old kind of business and it's been going on since 45 50 60 years we came out with the idea uh, so that we can manufacture tiles as we have uh, a common thought for the garbage ki isko pairo mein hi rehna hai so that's why we came up with the tiles so that you know, it can be useful for the beautification purpose, for the infra infrastructure development and of course, if all these things happen in a place, it will benefit the society also. It's again a recyclable product. You can use our tiles and our uh, tiles last uh, for minimum 20 years and we can recycle it again four times. So the first step of making tile, manufactured tiles is the collection activity. So we have a lot of uh, collaborations with few NGOs, uh, few corporates, few municipal corporations and the local household and local scrap dealers also from where we, get the where we get our plastic waste. And after that collection activity, we are, uh, we are going to have a segregation uh, team where we segregate the plastic according to polymer and the color wise. Once it is done, it goes into the shredding machine where we cut or shred the plastic into small microns. Then it goes into the washing unit. It, it uh, uh, the plastic, uh, the waste plastic will get cleaned up, and then it goes into the mixer, where we add some uh, eco-friendly fillers. That is our patent technology, and which is developed and tested by CSI NPL National Physical Laboratory. And then goes it goes into the extrusion machine, where the granules or the final raw, uh, raw material has been produced. After that, it goes into the injection molding machine. Then uh, from that we get a final product that's interlocking flow tiles. एक सिप्ट में 10 क्विंटल दाना बनाते हैं और पहले मिक्सचर बनता है इसमें गरम करते हैं उसके बाद मिक्सचर बना के ये मशीन दाना बाली चलाते हैं उसके बाद ये कटिंग होती है और फिर कट्टा तोल देते पैक करके 25 किलो की so currently we have a uh, capacity of processing 2 tons of plastic waste so the major buyer of our product is uh, government authorities, local municipal corporation and the corporate where they are using our product in their CSR activities because footpaths, jogging tracks, parking areas are majorly uh, developed and maintained by the government authorities. Our government is also uh, interested and uh, giving boost to the recycling industry. So here is the first step where we uh, government plays a vital role in where we are right now. So we contacted CSR NPL, Council of Scientific and Industry Research. There is a lab called National Physical Laboratory. So where this we we show our interest in the technology, where the technology is developed, tested, and we got the certific certification of a product test also. So startup uh, uh, thing is also going on. So we wrote to PM. So we got a response from PMO, and you won't believe it. We got our uh, startup certification in less than 72 hours. And after a six month process, we also get the tax benefit from the government. So uh, the source segregation has been not done in, the, in India and it's still an unorganized sector. So we have to pay a huge amount of money to get the waste. So the biggest challenge we face is procuring the raw material at a cheaper rate. Second major challenge what we face is, see, as I mentioned earlier, our major bar is government. 
so for doing the government projects we have to list our product into the dsrv pwd schedule rate so it's not e not at all easy to get your product listed there after my first edx i got lot of uh, inquiries about tiles for their personal farm houses so there we started our journey to enter the b2c market we are coming up with small pro uh, product like flower pots uh, wall hangings abstract art with the plastic waste so recently uh, we moved to a bigger plant where we have at least 10 times bigger capacity so now uh, our major uh, uh, main vision is so that we can create more and more products uh, which can again be useful for societal infrastructure development if you are thinking of making a social entrepreneur or you want to be an uh, sustainable entrepreneur start using start making a habit of uh using eco friendly products uh, believe in triple r policy reduce reuse and recycle so once you follow and adopt adopt this uh, policy or uh, this mantra in your life there are endless opportunity of doing recycling and sustainable it's not just about plastic everything uh, we use in our day to day life if we follow the uh, this mantra we can create uh, any sustainable kind of business